Moving averages are one of the most widely used technical indicators and are commonly shown as a curved line on a chart. They are used by traders to track and identify trends by smoothing normal day-to-day -day price fluctuations. They also form the building blocks for many other technical indicators, such as Bollinger Bands and the MACD. The two most popular types of moving averages are the Simple Moving Average SMA, and the Exponential Moving Average EMA. An SMA is an average of closing prices over a certain period of time. You don't need complex math to compute a SMA, you just add up the closing prices for the number of days you are considering, like 6 in this example, and divide by 6. Each day is weighted equally and it is the same math no matter how many days you are using. So for a 10 day moving average, add the closing prices from the last 10 days and divide by 10. EMAs are similar to SMAs except that more weight is given to the latest days and less weight is given to the earlier days. Therefore, all the closing prices aren't weighted equally. There are three steps to calculating an exponential moving average. First, calculate the simple moving average. Second, determine the weighting multiplier. This varies depending on the number of days. Third, calculate the exponential moving average. A criticism to moving averages is that they are lagging, not leading indicators. That means they are only using past data and have no predictive value as to what may happen in the future. Because of this lagging effect and the desire for traders to have a leading indicator, Vantage Point's team spent years researching and millions of dollars to create a predicted moving average, PMA. A six-day PMA of closing prices takes the past four days of closes, adds two days of predicted data, and then divides that total by six. Six days are still averaged, but day five and day six are predicted. This minimizes, if not totally eliminates, the lag effect. 